notice the presence of all these big big flies like this fly that you know they don't normally appear in regular basis but often you start seeing them in your shop in your office in your house or wherever you are you will begin to see all those flies often like well, sometimes when you go to your business premises you see them they will just come to the place and you know that there is no offensive order there there is no nothing like there is no deathiness that can bring the presence of such thing in that particular business and all that or even in your office you are working and sometimes you just see these big flies even if it's not many but you just see them roaming around your office and all that please pay attention i'm going to teach you more about the spiritual meaning of that and what you can do to stop that and you will never experience that again so if you want to know about this do keep watching while i share with you i greet you all welcome back to my channel good morning good afternoon and good evening i'm between you depends on wherever you are watching me from thank you for joining me so in this channel i share about the spiritual tips and how tips how to use natural things for these uses so if you find it helpful and you want to know more please do subscribe and don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you will always get notified whenever i upload a new video if you're a returning subscriber thank you very much for coming back today i love you and stay blessed so guys, in today's video, I want to talk about this because somebody was like sharing with me, oh, let me, sometimes when I open my shop, I will just see big, big fly. They will just be purging everywhere in my business premises. Let me tell you, if you decide that you take note of something, anytime you begin to see the presence of this fly, there is some spiritual manipulation that comes with it. Sometimes if you are into business, watch your sales, you will discover that you will not sell. Even if you sell, it will not be as the way you were selling before. If you are the type that you are working in the office and you begin to see these particular flies in your office and all that, know you that is that is a manipulation that is going on. And if you did not take time, small time you start having issue in that office. Or if time not take or if you are not careful, all of a sudden without you doing anything, you can be sacked. All right, because spiritually that is an a, that is a projection or that is a spiritual like uh, force. All right. To cause you so many harms and all that so there are so many things that can cause this spiritual but I just want you to know that whenever you start seeing the presence of this know it that is not ordinary in case especially you have a business or you are working and you start seeing this thing regularly like coming to you and you know that that particular place is very neat let me tell you now, you know some people sometimes they change physical thing to a spiritual thing Maybe you are living in a house, there is a lot of offensive odors, you have a lot of dirty things around you. Yes, it can bring the presence of this particular uh, ant or flies in your home. That is possible. But in a situation whereby everywhere is clean, even in the office, you know there is AC, there is everything, you start seeing the flies. Please, you have to do something to stop it. Or you are into business, you have to do something to stop it. These things that you can send it to back to sell if you're into business, this is a force in order to stop your selling or is a force to scatter your business, is even a force to even close your shop. All right, so it happens in so many spiritual ways that is not of the good side. Now, this is what you are doing if you are having this experience. Go to the market or get yourself bitter cola. I told you bitter cola, all these things that we use in daily, daily basis, all these things that we have access to, we just eat them like normal. We are eating them some for health benefits, some just for pleasure and all that. They have their own spiritual benefit that you can use to solve some of your spiritual problems. Now, this is what you need to do. Get your bitter cola and get an alligator pepper. Now, when you get a bitter cola, get just one uh, one bitter cola, all right, and get 21 cc of alligator pepper. Now, that bitter cola, please don't remove the bag. Now, put that bitter cola in your mouth or and that alligator. Now, if you have the business or you are into work, maybe you want to do this in your shop or you want to do it in your office or you want to do it wherever you are earning your living, please, before you do it, don't eat, all right. Make sure you have not eaten just for that moment. When you get to the place, that should be the first thing to enter your mouth, all right? You can brush, I didn't say you shouldn't brush, but don't eat, all right? So if you can fast, you can do that, it's fine. But if you cannot, just don't eat for that particular moment. Now, when you get to your business premises, get bitter cola and get into one piece of alligator. 
put it in your mouth, stand in the front of your church or in the front of your office. Now you say this word. From today, any man or woman known and unknown to me spiritually or physically that are sending this forth in order to disconnect my business, in order to cause me delay, in order to cause me disappointment, that today, wherever the person is, you are returning this thing to the sender. You are working, you make some, you make the same prayer. Wherever the force are coming from, spiritual force, in order to cause you some spiritual problems, that today you are returning it to sender. Then you make other prayers you want, all right? Pray that God, oh my, you are using this as a point of contact to uh, remove all those spiritual uh, blood and all that. Then after that, shoot that particular bit of cola and alligator pepper. Then after shooing it, you are going to spit it out seven times in your front. Let's assume I'm facing my shop now or I'm facing my office. Now, as, I, as you stand and make this prayer, you spit it out seven times. I know some men, you people may be asking, and be, how, how can I? Yes, no matter how little it is, this, this is the number that you need in this particular thing. All right? So you just be spitting it small, 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 small like that. Now you spit one, spit two, three to seven. Now, you say that wherever it's coming from, that you are returning it to the sender. Then turn back facing that inside that place, that your office or that your shop, and also spit it out again for seven times. Alright? Now after that, after that, go and put water in your mouth. Now wash your mouth with the water and pour it away. And said, as everyone under the earth takes water, that so shall this business of yours shall never dry. As water never dry in ocean, as never water never dry, as water is dead, so shall this work that you are doing bring sweetly, shall be like a river in your land, that nothing shall close it. Just pick the water out. Alright? Now go back to your shop and begin to share your market. And you are going to see that that, thing, that business will start moving. So you have to go do this recipe for seven days. Then after seven days, believe you me, if it's a human being that projected that in your shop, believe you me, and go back to the person. Sometimes it may be your colleagues, maybe you are living in a market place where you sell very well and your colleagues say, oh, your business is moving. They can send a lot of things for you in order to make your sales to delay, in order to disconnect your sales, in order to make you not to be selling at all. Alright, so as much as you see this, your only just to use this spiritual exercise to return it to whosoever that sent it and you become free from the projection. So I wish I share with you, please anytime you see this particular ant, don't take it for granted. Make sure you do something about it. Spiritually is very dangerous. So thank you for watching and stay blessed. See you in my next video. Bye.